Okay, today we're going to repair a dishwasher. Um, what's happening is there's insufficient water pressure inside to wash the dishes. Uh, suspect that there's uh, food particles, paper, glass, maybe other items that are clogging the sump assembly, which we will disassemble today. Gain access to the dishwasher, we'll need to remove these trays. The bottom one easily rolls out. And the top one, what we need to do here is you take the end caps, or two plastic end caps on each side that pop off, and that allows the, the top rack to roll out nicely. First, we're going to remove the spray arm, and this, and this one is, is righty loosey, so you've got to turn it to the right to take it off. We'll need to remove the water feed tube and spray jet assembly from the dishwasher. Now these are attached by means of small clips. You can just bend them back, bend those clips back, and there's a couple on top here and a couple here, and that should just all pop to the side. Then we'll turn it, move it to one side because there's a screw underneath the feed water feed tube here. And then next we'll disconnect the soil accumulator. Once the soil accumulator is loosened and unscrewed, you should be able to pop out the uh, water inlet tube and sprays. And we can take the top of the soil accumulator out. Next, we'll remove what's called the inlet protector. It's this assembly here, and it's held in there by one screw, which again, you need a star nose screwdriver to get it out. And then once we've loosened that, you should be able to just pull that right up. Once you've loosened the screw to the inlet protector and taken that out, uh, you can remove it. Sometimes it's a little bit harder to remove. You can take a pair of needle nose pliers or something in there and give it a firm yank. And that will let it come out. And there we have our problem. Uh, paper and other crud uh, blocking this, this screen. This is called the chopper assembly. Uh, there's an impeller shaft it goes in there that turns the chopper that chops up food breaks it up so it doesn't go through the uh, uh, pump assembly as you can see the screen captures paper uh, food debris and other things and over time it will get clogged and cause the pressure in the dishwasher to decrease the water pressure so we're going to take this screen out and it should slide out fairly easily and we'll just clean the screen out with a little toothbrush and scrub it out, pick it out, rinse it out, and it should be clean in no time. So once you have the inlet protector and all the pieces to the chopper assembly cleaned up, looking good, then inside the dishwasher, you need to make sure um, all the dirt and particles are cleaned out of where the assembly uh, goes. Okay, now we're going to reassemble the chopper assembly and that can be a problem sometimes because it just pops out when you pull off the uh, inlet cover. Uh, this is a shaft. It connects to a shaft down in the dishwasher. Uh, the next piece to go on is a spring. The next piece to go on is one of the washers. The next piece to go on is the chopper screen itself. You want to put, notice it has the top side is a little bit larger than the bottom side. The smaller side will go into the slot in the bottom of the dishwasher. Then we have another washer, and then we will have the chopper blade. Notice that it has uh, the part that sticks out in the middle. That will go on the outside, so you want to be that way because then it will spin, and then the cap goes over that. On your inlet cover, there's a slot that that cap will slide in right there. you will have the large part of the screen up in the upper part there and then the lower part will fit nicely down into the dishwasher. Okay, The first step is to put the shaft and the spring and the first washer behind the screen, the chopper screen assembly, and then slide that screen down in place while carefully putting the shaft, connecting it to the shaft inside the dishwasher. And you see the slot here holds the screen in place securely. Okay, next we put the other washer and the chopper blade and then we put the cap on the end 
make sure that fits properly on the shaft. There's a square part of the shaft that it needs to fit on for the blade to turn properly. After you make sure you have no parts left over, uh, then we'll put the inlet cap back on there. Make sure the screen goes into the slot. So be very careful with that. Make sure it all goes in the right place. And the inlet protector should slide easily into place. If you have to force it, uh, it's not in properly. So slide that easily into place. Then we'll uh, put the screw back in the hole there and tighten the screw up. We'll screw the inlet protector back in. Okay, we're going to put the soil accumulator back in place next. Uh, it has the four screws go here so you'll know which way that goes on there. You want to make sure this piece is in there. It doesn't matter which way and make sure that washer stays on there. Okay, now we'll get the water inlet tube and sprayers and put those in. The inlet tube and spray jet assembly can be difficult to get back in the dishwasher, but remember it is extremely flexible, so don't be afraid to bend it a little bit. So we're going to bend her in, put it in at an angle, we're going to fit this piece, it fits in the slots here. It'll take some jimming to get it in, and once you get it in the slots, should turn around and fit right into place. Uh, but we'll need to screw that in first. So we'll twist it back a little bit so we can get the screws in the holes here. And just make sure the screws turn in loosely. You don't want to strip any threads down in the plastic assembly. Okay, once we have the soil accumulator screwed securely back into place, then we can put the water feed tube and spray assembly back into place. And it will just snap right back into the, into the wall of the dishwasher. Then we'll replace the spray arm. That's done by placing the spray arm on there and then turning left, counterclockwise, tighten the spray arm back on. And it should rotate free without coming off. And we roll in the bottom rack. We'll slide in the top rack, make sure we get the rollers into the little extension pieces here. And then you'll put the end caps on the end and it should be locked into place. Now you're ready to turn the power back on and give the dishwasher a short test run. Place a few soiled dishes in the top rack to see whether water pressure is back to normal. 